Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 31. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Hello. Hi, Daniel. How are you? I'm okay. Have to be very productive, but I'm okay. Okay. Well, try to be more productive on this episode. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going to introduce me? Oh, just... That's rude. Oh, how could you not mention the Ethan Pal? I, I was about to until you cut in. Nice. <laughs> You're just you're just gonna do ignore me in the corner. <laughs> my beanbag chair, which is amazing. Okay, and joining us as a special guest host is Ethan Pao from Alicorn Radio. Yes, from Alicorn Radio. How are you? I am. I just like I woke up, and so I'm slightly dead right now. Well, welcome to the show. Yeah. Anyway, on this episode, we don't have a guest. That's why we have Ethan. He's awesome. He's more than a guest. He's a guest host. Oh snap! Yeah. So anyway, moving on is housekeeping. Last week we interviewed Base Beast JD, and in the interview we got featured on EQD Slightly Roundup number four fifty one. And because of that, we got some traffic flowing our way. So if you're a new listener of the show, welcome and hope you enjoy our show. Well, next topic is news time. So Ethan, you want to take this? Yes. Gangnam Style sets records. What does this mean with the ponies? Recently, the local newspaper, Harin Metro, has reported how the Gangnam Style sets records on YouTube. What this has to do with ponies? Well, the article uses a parody of the cover art. Links and pictures can be found in the show notes. Take a good, hard look at it, guys. Ponyville? Really? Yep, that's in oh, the newspaper. oh, oh. oh. This is our local newspaper. That that's funny. That is funny, funny, funny. You know when I, I said, to... when I said we could, we should really try to get bronies into the local newspaper. This isn't what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I just used something else. Like, uh, Unless size a brony. I don't think so. We can call upon Kokuneru to make that happen. I got no idea. I summon the powers of the internet to show how awesome they are. But <clears throat> Gangnam Style. Anyway, um, this is interesting. Of course it is. As soon as I got note, I especially want to shout out to Calvin Chu for telling us about it. I ran right out of my house in 10 seconds flat to the 7-Eleven down the road, ran inside, and it didn't have any more of the Haryan Metro. So I had to go next door to the other department shop, KK Mart, and grab a copy. And I was like... This may not be legit because it's so flat, it's scanned, it could be Photoshop. I just flipped through the newspaper so quickly and everyone in the shop was staring at me like, this guy is looking for some obituary or something like that. Ran to the counter. Oh, it. snap. And now I was like on the phone. And I was waiting, come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? It's legit! It's legit. It uses I, guess, I guess half the people in the shop thought I was, I, I probably lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, public place, control, in the center, zen. Into the... I am ready. <laughs> anyway, Gangnam Style helps ponies in Malaysia. It does not have anything to do with My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Well, now it does. No, it doesn't. Anyway, let's move on but to the next... Style. Style. Wait, do they have like a brony in there? They're like, mm, I'm going to use this photo. Probably. Uh, Probably. Seth had... Uh, what was it? No, sorry, not Seth. Who did the night you round up? Um, I think it's Calpin. As Calpin said, is there a brony in the paper, so it's just a mistake? You decide. Well, I'm just going to move on to the next topic. Shards of Equestria officially cancelled. In episode 27, we reported that Shards of Equestria received a cease and desist letter from Hasbro. Cease and desist. Sorry, cease and desist. Thank you. Even after trying to appeal the matter with Hasbro's lawyer, they were still forced to shut down the project. A well-detailed explanation was included explaining every single aspect in detail for the reasons why they had to stop the project. Links can be found in the show notes. Uh, too bad. This was an interesting project. Yeah, luckily I just grabbed as many cards as I could when I noticed the cease and desist. I downloaded almost mine, all of them. Mine, 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 mine. Yeah, I, no, I, I never really... I, was just, I don't really play Magic the Gathering. And sort of equestrian, I was like, eh. Neither do I, but, I mean, the cars look good. They're really well designed. They look very professional. So I said, why not? They, there's still something to look at. It's like, make a freaking pony deck. Like, Wait, are these officials? Like, no. 
You shall fear my Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Imagine somebody just turns up at a tournament with these cards. Didn't we make this joke yes, uh, yeah, on episode 37? Really, I, mean, like, I, I still can't get it out of my head if somebody turns up to a tournament. And this time they have cops there and it's like, that's illegal. You are hereby under arrest under Article 137 of the whatever, whatever. We're rehashing old jokes now, aren't we? <laughs> yep. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the episode you were on, right, Ethan? Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talk about karma. We're talking about an episode that we were, I, was, I was on before, and I'm on this episode. We're talking about that episode. Wow. Mind mess. Mind. That's so meta. <laughs> so anyway, um... Let's move on to the next thing. And usually we have guest time, but right now we don't have a guest. So let's talk to Ethan. So, Ethan. Oh, no. No. <laughs> don't ask me. Oh, it's nothing really. So how has your show been? Any more viewers? Uh, yes, we have increased a few. Not much. I've noticed that we've been growing over on Tumblr, we've grown in other places, so those are matching up to our numbers in uh, Twitter. Not as much as it is right now. I would love to have a lot of followers everywhere on Facebook. The Facebook page just, like, died. No one else like, oh, we don't use Facebook, we use Twitter. And then I found people that, oh, we don't use Twitter, we use Facebook. I'm like, come on! Make up your minds, people! <laughs> oh, I, I see that problem, too, with our page. I, I seriously got no idea how many viewers we have. I mean, on YouTube, we got at least 20 plus. Um, Daniel, how many, how many people do we have on iTunes? The MBS show currently logs at 20 subscribers. That's not a good sign. <laughs> we had peak on the 3rd of September at 25, uh, 25 listeners. And our Twitter followers are at 40 plus, I think. But anyway, so um, you had Elecon Radio forums, right? Yep. How has that been? Fun. You've been having a lot of fun on the forums. <laughs> mm? Yep, I did. Awkward moment when a moderator notices you having fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, and when an administrator knows you're having fun, that's when you should be worried. When the boss knows you're having fun. Hey, it's all legit, yo. Yeah, definitely. And we have 47 followers on Twitter. Awesome. So, your YouTube page, that's interesting. I noticed a lot of gameplay videos. Uh, we thought we'd do a lot of other stuff, because we're not just a podcast or technically a radio stream that's going to be popping up soon. Trying to get that radio stream, but we don't have the money together, we don't have the people together. Once we have enough people really on our forums, watching, our, uh, watching the streams that we do, then I'm getting the audio stream up and running. And when I get the audio stream up and running, I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to make sure I have enough uh, content to keep it going for days and days on end. Awesome. Because I enjoyed our time yesterday when we played Realm of the Dead God. Is it right? Yeah, Realm of the Mad God is the game that we're playing. Mad also. God, not Dead God. Mad God. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Bad memory. You were saying? Well, he dies all the time. <laughs> so that is a logical representation. It sounds like me in a computer game. I die all the time. Oh man, so this game, um, if you die, you die for good, and you have to start a new character. It's just one of those games that's a kid. It's like, um, how, how it all went. It's just, um, it plays in a very interesting way. It's hardcore mode all the time. So you're not, you're supposed to survive. But if you die, you can still play again. And the effort you did put in your character is worth it. Because you can get, do gain fame if you get your character level 20. You're most likely almost absolutely going to get so much fame from that, then you have to, once you get to level 20, you have a fame bar, and it tells you how much fame until you get the next fame level. Hmm. So it's, like, it's actually pretty fun. I didn't notice that when I was playing, but... I'm... You have to get to level 20 first. Ah. It's last time, last time we played, because I got from level 1 all the way to level 20 when we were streaming. <laughs> Yesterday I played it, and it was awesome. Like I don't know how to say it. It was just awesome playing with you guys. Oh man, if we actually rounded up a ton of people when we, before we did a stream, they all get on Roman Mag on the same server we're all on, just gather up and we get about 30 or 60 people all in one crew just to follow me and just to stay together. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, that's going to oh. be awesome. Oh, it, it, it's crazy. It's like how people just uh, lock me as the person to keep an eye on. 
just so that if if the, if they don't see me, they teleport to me. So everyone just teleports, and it's like this huge blob of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun! I hope it works out for you guys. I'll be joining if that happens. Yeah, you most likely are. We're gonna like sit here, like you're tired. It's like I want to go to bed, but I don't want to go because it's so much fun. <laughs> True. It was so. It was. It was, it was really fun. Was That's really what they fun. say about every single computer game out there, especially turn-based ones. It's like one more round, one more round. Oh, trust me, I Daniel. I don't like turn-based. I I despise turn-based. Especially turn-based. I, I, turn I do love I mean. playing um uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, but. Um, some of the game modes allowed you to go, the game go faster, because people can play at the same time if you're allied. If, if go about people are allied, they all can do the turn together, until the last person send with their turn. I mean, not really turn-based, turn-based is one of the most popular, but others even, like, probably in Dota, is like, last life, last life, and then it, especially like me, who sits around playing O2Jam, last song, last song. <laughs> it will always be the last song, for the next three hours. <laughs> So anyway, Daniel, you have to play that game. It's awesome. Make, yeah. make an account and join us. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I'll finish up my assignments for the week and then join you probably mid this week. Cool. That's a date, I guess. So anyway, if anybody else has anything to say about stuff... I have a lot of things to say, but unrelated. <laughs> unrelated? Why don't we talk about it? I like chocolate. <laughs> I like chocolate too. Chocolate's like my weakness. It's like, oh yes. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> Cheesecake. Anyway, um, the next topic is email time, and we don't have emails. What's happening to you guys? No emails, no fun. What's up? For all of real, we don't worry about emails. It's like we don't check it because there's other means for people to contact us. Yeah, it's true. So what? Um, what other means do you have? Maybe we could adopt a different means. I will not say. I was like, oh no, it's actually, um, it's because, uh, it's like the forms, private messaging to me, uh, Twitter, Facebook, we just, any fan, call it fan mail time, instead of calling it email time. So any form of message to you, it's, that is placed like fan mail. Like if they put like a little ticketer on it saying fan mail, then you can take that mail and if you like it, you can put it in the show. So why don't you promote that like saying fan mail time instead of email time? Because... Not everyone really wants to use email anymore. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Yeah, uh, definitely. It's, it's like writing letters. It's just, it's too much of a hassle. It's like it's like simple messages. Is all it's where it's at. Yeah. But that's how I get most of my guests. But basically, you know, when you said I will not tell, it's like if you click on the contact us link in Alicorn Radio, suddenly a YouTube video loads up and Ethan's staring at the camera. <laughs> I will not tell. <laughs> <laughs> I will not tell at all. Okay, never mind then. Well, um, I have some shoutouts to give out to, and my first shoutout goes to Bojo Pigeon. Hi, Pigeon. I met him on EFR's um, Saturday Night Live with Michelle Kriber, and when I said that, are you going to Malaysia, something like that, he responded that by saying, I know you guys, and that's awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Being, being acknowledged from a higher source. It's like, I still don't understand why you guys are not so more popular than we are. <laughs> I, just, I don't understand. Uh, I got no idea. But hey, hey, I think it could be a brony joke to us. Like, haha, let's make them not popular by not responding to them. Uh, or it's just or the universe. I have to check you know. the universe control room again to see if uh, you guys just are under that function <laughs> that requires you to have something awesome. I don't know. Now we duct tape the control room so you can't get in. <laughs> Actually, wait, you were the ones that duct taped the control room? <laughs> yeah, we duct taped the promote button to down so it can't move either. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Get all that duct tape out of the control room? You can't. You can't remove duct tape. Yes, you can. It's impossible. Dude, I am the moderator of the universe control room. I believe I can remove duct tape. Well, I remember on the roll it said something about moderator proof. <laughs> Um, I'm not a moderator. I am the controller of the universe. So it's going to take you a while. It'll take me a while, but still, I hate you. <laughs> Beanie. Well, anyway. So much work I had to do. Nah, we wait, wait for Derpy to stop sitting on the demote button on your <laughs> demote button. So anyway, my next guy I want to shout out is um, Adam Shane. And he's been active on the Facebook page for the MBS show Facebook fan page. 
And cheers to you, Adam. Hope you listen to this episode. <laughs> and this my... one's for you. <laughs> and my last guy I want to shout out is to you, Ethan. Thank you for coming on to our show at this early hour of the day for you. I am so going to strangle you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said nothing! I said nothing! I am going to kill you! Uh, I'm, I'm happy to come on. With hugs! I, I forced my body to wake up. You wake up now! I don't wanna! You will! Okay. And 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. Anyway, those are my shout outs. Thank you again, Ethan. Alright. So, Daniel, you got any shout outs to let out? I feel like shouting somewhere, but not really. But, uh, okay, of course. Yeah, I do have some shout outs. Yeah. Mr. Deck! Fools roll <laughs> Oh god. It you is. shall not fail! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my first shout out, and I guess my only shout out for the week goes to Purple Tinker, who's currently doing the Tink in a Box charity event right in her, I think it's her own home. You've been in there for, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 28 hours right now and counting. Keep on persevering, you're doing a great job. But Daniel, want to explain what she's doing and why she's doing it? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Tink in a Box is a charity effort by Purple Tinker, the founder of BronyCon. And it is going to be an event, actually it is an event, that is aiming to raise funds and awareness for Day of Pink and Jer's Vision. You can take a look at this event and find out how you can donate, as well as view the live stream of Purple Tinker in her room. She's going to be in there for 72 hours. No outside communication, no leaving the room. 72 whole hours. The idea behind this is, you know, to spread awareness about people who are being bullied when you are sick, you're being watched, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is a really, really inspiring event. Go take a look at purpletinker.com. Links to the live stream and the pledge are in the show notes. So, Ethan, you want to shout out to anybody? I... You want to shout at anybody? <laughs> I can. Okay, no problem then. <laughs> Well, I can normally really I say so. all corn radio forms join it. It's awesome. Yeah, sure uses it. Norman uses it. I yep. don't know about. I don't know about Daniel. Daniel, you don't. Not don't yet. Really Not yet. Not he's, yet. He's yet. there. He's yet. there. Ah, ah, yet. You're going to join. Yes, my he, plan is working. He joined, if I remember right. He already joined. No, I haven't. You haven't. Maybe if there was a Facebook connect button, yes, but if not, there's not. I haven't. It's a Facebook connect yes. button. There is a Facebook connect button. Then I've joined. <laughs> you just gotta find it. I mean, I got tired as soon as Mark Zuckerberg invented his button. I'd given up on filling up forms and repeating my email. Yeah, then that's, repeating that's my why password. I put in plugins in. I put Facebook and I also put in Twitter. So. Yeah, and then you come to the CAPTCHA and featuring words from some alien language you can't read. <laughs> and the words I put, I put, in, I put in. images. It's actually images this time. It's not um, it's not the uh, word. It's actually you put, uh, you put a picture into the uh, image. It's like a small game. Yeah, um, someone should do that. Like, capture, put like a game of Pong, you have to win three <laughs> rounds. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. It's like, it's like very easy. And it's like, what are you supposed to do? I don't know! <laughs> oh, wait. Isn't the, isn't the other end of Pong also a computer? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway... So, 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 it, would, it actually would go on forever because you're not. You're, it, it's just following the ball. You're not trying to make the ball go in a different speed or trajectory. <laughs> then you get power ups. <laughs> power ups. Do, 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 do. Shoot the other platform dead. It's like oh, I win. You press enter. All your base are belong to us. <laughs> this is a meme episode. Yes. <laughs> Memes are magic. And it's gonna keep on going until we get tired. Oh my so god! I I'm full <laughs> energy. So anyway, um, go join Elecon Radio Forums. It's fun. It is fun. Anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And you can also reach our Twitter. And our Twitter is at the MBS Show. I'm at Norman Sanzo. I'm at St. Pinky. And Ethan. I'm Ethan Pow! Good night! Well, his Twitter handle is at Alicorn Radio. Yes. And I think he just passed out. Anyway, I'm um, also... I'm still here. <laughs> Suddenly, Vegeta on the chat. <laughs> um, anyway, um, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. And like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. So, I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. Ethan. I've been Pound. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
And she's like the best teacher ever. Hey, hey, Scootaloo. Hey, hey, Scootaloo. Oh. The time of year has finally come to an end. I find myself sitting back at this desk again in a place that I hate. Oh, boy, when's my life gonna change? Familiar faces gathering all around through every nook and cranny in this small town. So I sit and I wait for Shira Lee to start her lessons again. These thoughts inside my head are contemplation, yet they're not enough to curb my frustration. Clouds. Spread my wings and try to fly Or ride my scooter around and see the sights But this place that I'm in Is forcing me to hear these lessons again This place is gonna drive me crazy My vision's blurred, I'm getting kinda sleepy G-I-T-A? G-I or G-E? Oh, oh, B-E-G-E-T-A. Uh, E. Because you know why? I was like drinking guava juice and I looked at the can and the t- uh, university had Vegeta and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what does it say about the sugar level? <laughs> <laughs> it's over 9,000. <laughs> what? Over 9,000? Hyper speed. Activate. <laughs> go fast. I know how we're going to get past these uh, defenses. We'll eat so much candy, we'll go so hyperactive. So we'll go fast in the speed of light. Oh, God. Spread my gradual little mind. Speaking of which, our government has lowered the subsidy on sugar. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, anyway. Okay, um... any, okay, let's get back to the show. Three, two, one. Okay, so. Bloody hell. Three. <laughs> Three. Just leave the jerks. Just leave them. <laughs> it's a double. It's a double whammy. It happens every week. <laughs> Three, two, one.